So this is our word problem. We're going to start it just like any other word problem. I'm going to circle my question mark. And I'm going to go backwards. Find my question. Here we go. Which? Which equation can be used to find S, the number of students on each bus? Again, they're trying to use a letter to confuse us, but it's not going to work. They say we're going to find S. What do they mean by S? They mean the number of students. And again, whatever letter they pick, there's usually a reason for it. They picked S because they're looking for students. And they use the word each. Or the two operations I, that we should start thinking about when I see words like each and every and per and equal amount. There are two operations. Who remembers what they are? Riley? Multiplication. What's the other one? There's two. Division and multiplication. There we go. Two operations that we should start thinking of. We said that whenever we see the word each or every or per, that it makes us think that we need to use either multiplication or division. Let's take a look at what's going on in my problem. We're looking for the number of students on each bus. So I need information about students and about buses. For a fourth grade field trip, 252 students. Okay, that's talking about students. Rode in six buses. Buses to a nature preserve. Each seat on the bus held two students. Well, they didn't tell me anything about seats, so I can ignore that. If each bus carried the same number of students. The same number the same thing as saying each or equal or even or every or per so they're really trying to tell us that we need to either use multiplication or division if I look at my answer choices that means that there are two answer choices that I can get rid of I can get rid of answer choice a and answer choice B because answer choice a is using addition answer choice B is using subtraction Kaylee, make sure you're focused, make sure you're doing your work. I've got two answer choices here. I need to think about what's happening. I'm going to pretend that we have all these students and they're ready to go on a field trip. Right? I don't want to sit here and draw 252 little stick figures or anything like that. So I'm just going to make a box. 252. And to go on this field trip, the students are going to need to get on buses. And there are six buses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some students get on bus number one, some on bus number two, some on bus three, some on bus four, some on bus five, some on bus six. So as they're getting on these buses, Am I going to end up with more students? Is my number going to go up? Or is the number going to go down? What do you think, Noah? Is my number going to go up or is my number going to go down? Up. So I'm going to get more students when they go on the buses? Mm-hmm. Where are the other students going to come from, Noah? Because if, if my numbers are going to go up, that means that I'm going to get students from other places. But where are the other students going to come from? Uh, down. They're going to go down. I'm not going to get any extra students. They're just going onto the buses. And so if I start counting, okay, this is how many people are on bus one and bus two and bus three, all of these numbers are going to get smaller because there's no extra students coming from anywhere. If my number is going to go down, who can tell me what operation 
I should use that's going to make my number get smaller. Violet? Division. Division. If I use multiplication, my number is going to get bigger. That's not what I want. It's not what's going to happen. So my answer should be D. In this case, it wouldn't be going up. Because again, like I, like I was asking Noah, if my number goes up, that means I'm getting more students. But I'm not getting any more students. These are all the students that were in the field trip. So when they get onto each bus, they're not all going to the same bus, right? There's six of them. So some students are going into bus one, some into bus two, some into bus three, some into bus four, some to bus five, and some to bus six. But there's not going to be more students in one bus than there are going on the whole field trip. You'd have poor students hanging out of the window. They'd be stuck and crammed and stuffed in there. So the number has to go down. Okay, problem 10A. A publishing company printed 46 copies of a new workbook. Each book was 23 pages long. Which equation can be used to find P, the number of pages printed for this 46 books? Okay, the word problem, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to circle my question mark. I'm going to go backwards from the question mark and see if I can find my question word. Question word is which. Which equation can be used to find P, the number of pages printed? Or the 46 books. Again, when they give me a letter, it's for a reason. They want it to stand for something. In this case, P stands for the number of pages printed. So when they're making these books, they have to print them out first. They want to know how many pages are they going to have to print out to make these books. I want to know about pages and I want to know about books. That's where the pages are going. A publishing company printed 46 copies of a new workbook. Okay, 46 copies. How many books they're making. Each book was 23 pages long. There's my pages, and again, they use the word each. Words like each and every and per and equal amount and even amount mean that I should start thinking of two operations and what two operations should I start thinking of? What are those two operations that I should use when they start asking me about each and every and per? Jada? Not what we're focused on right now, Chase. Make sure we stay focused on our work. Who can tell me? Or sorry, no, Jada. Jada, you were typing it out. What operations should I start thinking about, Jada? Division and multiplication. So I'm already going to go ahead and start getting rid of some answer choices. It needs to be division or multiplication. Division, that one says addition, that one says multiplication, that one says subtraction. Okay, down to two answer choices. That's good, it means it's easier for me to find the correct one. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna print out these books. Let's say they print one copy, one book. How many pages does that one book have? How many pages did they say? Alexa? 23 pages long. Okay, so I'm going to put 23 here. There are 23 pages in that one book. Are they just going to make one book and that's it? One copy? They're going to make more. Who can tell me how many copies, how many books are they going to make? 
How many were they making? Alexa, how many? 46 copies. 46. Again, this is math. I don't want to sit here and draw 46 books. I'm going to take a shortcut. There are more, there are more, there are more, there are 46 more books. 46 books. Man, that is a lot. So if they keep on printing pages and pages and pages, make books and books and books, is the number of pages going to go up or is the number of pages going to go down? Kylie? The number of pages is going to go up. It's going to go up. So what operation should I use, Kylie? Multiplication. Multiplication. Means that I should pick answer choice C. Yeah. 